I don't think there's anything that compares to what we get to do here. Gem is kind of an open book and you get to, you know, you get to write whatever you want. I don't know, I, I just look back on the last 18 months and I know that because of the resources, because of the people, this has been a very successful experience for me. I had several mentors when I was a young lieutenant who went through AFIT through the gym program. They said this would be the best fit for what I was looking for and they were not wrong. I highly recommend the AFIT Graduate Engineering Management Program to any civil engineer officer that wants to pursue a technical master's degree, especially early in the career right after a first or second duty station. A master's program on my own or after hours was not very uh, attractive to me, but uh, getting paid to go full time was a unique opportunity. You are a student at AFIT for your entire time and you have no other work responsibilities. You are very much autonomous. You will never have as much freedom in the Air Force as you have when you're in the graduate program. So you uh, dictate your own schedule, you have your own classes. Sometimes our students don't even have class, they just are working on, on research. Um, they have the opportunity to have some family time. The people in GEM become your, your best friends here at Wright Pat, growing your families together. The spouses have really close community with each other and the kids growing up together is really awesome too. So. You're here as a graduate student, but you're still an Air Force officer. You're surrounded by uh, potential mentors, uh, senior officers who've been where you are, who are your instructors, senior officers who may be in your class with you. My classmates defined my experience while I was at AFIT, and I think that it's because we're not necessarily struggling with the classes, but that we're living the struggle together, you know? It really wasn't just my success in the program, but our success in the program. Uh, we were able to build upon each other's strengths and weaknesses so that we could all collectively succeed as a flight in the program. Each group of students that comes through is more and more like a family. They, they collaborate together, they um, do things outside of campus with each other. I think the culture is pretty strong. It actually goes back 47 years ago when the Air Force community decided we needed to have a graduate program specifically for Air Force civil engineers. It takes the step further from undergraduate education and how those technical tasks fits into an overall vision or mission for the Air Force. They give us real projects that have succeeded or failed and we can figure out what went wrong, what went right, and then we actually directly brief the Air Force Civil Engineer Center. My faculty and staff work very closely with the AFIT graduate students to ensure that their research is done in a vital, relevant, and connected manner with the civil engineer community. The, the very first people that you meet are your instructors. They really provide you a lot of good guidance in helping you define a research topic. Most of our theses are things that we've noticed in our own assignments that we've been through as well as getting some input from AFCAC and folks at the Pentagon. My thesis research effort investigated the effect of a non-pathogenic virus on activated sludge and the activated sludge's ability to degrade organic waste. So I actually analyzed cross-cultural competencies and cultural training. How do our foreign partners affect our construction overseas. My thesis is studying permafrost degradation in the Arctic, and that's affecting us uh, from an engineering standpoint as well as from a, an environmental standpoint. We're co-located with the Air Force Research Lab and the Air Force School of Aerospace Medicine, and they have wonderful facilities that we're able to take advantage of. An exciting opportunity to apply hands-on science and to work with professionals that are investigating real-world issues. The Air Force invest a lot of time and money uh, for students to come through the GEM program, and that's taken into account onto their next assignment. The development team works very hard to ensure that our graduates are placed into key positions across our Air Force to include staffing positions in the Air Force Civil Engineers Center, or a MAGCOM retained staff, get selected to be operational flight commanders, and even key leadership positions in Red Horse units. Everything that I learned at the gym program absolutely plays a vital role in what I do day to day. It's just that ability to dissect a problem, break it down into small parts, get the background research done, and then articulate your answers in a way that other people can understand. And just the fact that I'm coming out of here a technical expert in a particular subject gives me some credential to my, my gaining unit that says, hey, this guy uh, can solve problems. It was a challenging experience but one that I look back on and, and I'm proud of. And we hear often uh, of grads that still have friends uh, back from 15, 20 years before, where people that they can reach out to, connect with, and, uh, and learn from. I've been on deployments where I worked with fellow uh, gym grads, either from my class or other years, and having that shared background and experience of this education has been a big benefit. Everybody in this program is gonna be someone that I can reach out to later on in my career. That's worth its weight in gold.